The second version of the Bernoulli's equation is for the ideal flow. Uh, ideal flow, uh, based on your knowledge in basic fluid mechanics, the incompressible and inviscid flow is called the ideal flow. Ideal flow is something different from the ideal gas or perfect gas. Uh, this is a call. Uh, this is a name uh, used, uh, which is used for incompressible and inviscid flows. And uh, but uh, during the derivation of this version of the Bernoulli's equation, I won't speak about the vorticity vector or the rotationality or irrotationality of the flow field. So uh, the flow needs to be ideal. Uh, I mean incompressible and inviscid. But the flow, uh, in the meantime, the flow can be rotational. So, uh, let's go on, and also, this version of the Bernoulli's equation is written between uh, two points which are located along a specific streamline. In this version, uh, this assumption uh, is eliminated, so you can write this version of the Bernoulli's equation between any two points. But here, it's essential to uh, add this assumption, and the final uh, equation is only valid between two points located on a specific string line. Okay, this is the Euler's equation because the flow is inviscid and the viscous term is zero here, so the Navier-Stokes uh, equation without the viscous term is called the Euler's equation. This is the local uh, derivative or local acceleration. This is the nonlinear term, the pressure term, the uh, gravity force. Again, I expanded this term, the nonlinear term, using this vector identity here. This is the gradient of the kinetic energy, or the uh, square velocity over 2, minus the lambda vector. You see, this is the lambda vector. Uh, okay, uh, the Euler equation, or the viscous equation, or the navier stokes equation, are both vector equations. It means that all terms in the navier stokes equation are vectors. This is a vector. This one again is a vector, and so on. But the uh, Bernoulli's equation is a scalar equation. So, uh, if I, uh, again, you know that the dot product of two the vectors is a scalar quantity. So, I want to uh, compute the dot product of this vector equation, which is the Euler equation, and the ds vector. Yes, S coordinate is a coordinate which is defined along the S streamline. This is a streamline, an arbitrary streamline. S coordinate, as you see, is defined along the streamline tangent to the twist. So, this is the velocity. The streamline is tangent to the velocity vector, and so, so the velocity vector and the S coordinates are parallel to each other. Uh, so, perform the dot product of the ds vector and the Euler's equation, and then integrate the final scalar equation. The first one here, the, uh, uh, the local derivative or local acceleration, this is the uh, dot product of the rate of time rate of change of the velocity and the ds vector. The second vector, use this identity here, I have nothing to do with the gradient of the square velocity over 2, so write it here. But the lamb vector, you know the cross product of two vectors is normal to both of them. So the lamb vector is normal to the velocity vector and the vorticity vector. On the other hand, the s is a parallel to the velocity vector. And again, you know that the dot product of two vectors, which are normal to each other, is zero. So the ds vector is a tangent to the streamline. The velocity vector again is a tangent to the streamline, and the lab vector is normal to the velocity. So the lab vector is normal to the ds vector. So the dot product of the ds vector and this part of the nonlinear term is a zero. So this way we can get rid of this uh, part of the nonlinear term. In the previous section, the lab vector was a zero because the flow was irrotational, but here the flow is a rotational. The vorticity vector is not zero, but the dot product of the ds vector and the vorticity vector is zero, and then the equation is uh, just valid along a specific streamline. But in this version, there is an there isn't such a function about the uh, validity of the equation between 
two points on a streamline. Okay, so the dot, dot product of the DS vector and the second part of the nonlinear term is zero. We have gradient of pressure here, gradient of the Z coordinate here, and the gradient of the velocity here. So combine them in one term. So this is again the first term, and this is the integration along the streamline of the gradient of uh, three terms. Uh, dot ds equal to zero. Okay, let's go on. If uh, you have an integral of gradient of one thing ds, you can easily uh, write this term as the integration of total change of those quantities equal to zero. And integra integral of uh, total change of something can be written in, uh, again, that quantity used here. Consider here that the velocity is tangent to the streamline. Again, the ds vector is defined tangent to the streamline. The dot product of two vectors which are uh, parallel uh, can be eliminated because the cosine of the angle between them is 1. So eliminate the dot product and also the vector uh, lines above them. So uh, the, we have the integration of the partial derivative of v with respect to time or the local acceleration along uh, streamline. But the zero uh, changes to a constant. This constant is a function of the time because the flow is unsteady as you see. And the stream function. The stream function is a scalar quantity which is constant along a streamline. The stream function uh, is a tag which is used to determine which stream function we are talking about. Okay, for example, this streamline here corresponds to the stream function equal, to, for example, to zero. The other streamline uh, corresponds to another value for the stream function. So the constant of the Bernoulli's equation in this version is a function of the stream function, or uh, the function of uh, the stream function uh, which you are writing the equation along it. Uh, you see the integr integral here is uh, an inter indefinite integral. So you can change this form of the Bernoulli's equation to the definite version. It means that uh, you perform the integration between two specific points on that streamline. The first point is 1 and the second one is 2. So this indefinite integral changes to the definite integral between points 1 and 2. And this package is uh, written here uh, for point 2. And I can copy and paste this uh, package here, but the subscripts are 1. This is the definite version of the Bernoulli's equation for incompressible, inviscid, but generally rotational flow between two points which have to be along a specific streamline. Uh, the, the other point uh, here is that the second version of the Bernoulli's equation, which is uh, used for ideal flows, is engaged with a string, fu a string function. Because this version is written along a streamline, and along a streamline, the string function is a constant value, is a constant parameter, so, uh, you see, uh, the stream function appears here. But the first version of the Bernoulli's equation uh, is engaged with the potential function, because the potential function can be just defined for the ir rotational flow. Here, the flow can be rotational. So, you can use the, uh, the phi or the potential function in this version, but you see the psi appears here. Another point here is that uh, let's expand the nonlinear term in, uh, in Cartesian coordinates, for example, or in coordinates one of which is uh, tangent to the streamline S, and the other one is normal to the streamline. So the advection term can be written as the Vs as the component of the velocity in the S direction, and Vn is the component of velocity normal to a streamline direction. Vs, partial derivative of Vs with respect to S, Vn, partial derivative of Vs with respect to N. You know that velocity is uh, tangent to the streamline, so the velocity 
components uh, in normal to streamline direction is zero. So the second term vanishes. Uh, Vs, partial derivative of Vs over S, can be written based on your um, basic mathematics knowledge. And the partial derivative of S squared velocity over 2. So this is the same term as appears here or in the first identity. So you see that because the velocity is tangent to the string line, the second term in the advection nonlinear term is zero. Uh, and the nonlinear term can be written as the derivation of I don't want to call it the potential, the kinetic energy, but something similar to the kinetic energy, which is the inertia force. 